Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to make a ham and cheese, but not just any ham and cheese. We have three kinds of cheeses and we're gonna add some caramelized onion with a bit of curry powder. You're in for a treat, so let's go. Okay, first we're going to work on our onions, right? So we're going to caramelize these little guys. So I'm just gonna peel them off. We're gonna do two onions. Just cut them in half, take the skin like that, peel it off. Should come fairly easy, just like that. It's magic. Just like our onion, making sure we have our claw and we're gonna just dice away. Make sure it's nice and thin. And that's our two onions. And as you can tell, no crying. So there's no magic. The reason why you're not crying when you cut onions or why you are is because your knife is actually not sharp. If you have a sharp knife, never see a tear. Anyway, let's get on with the cooking. So I'm gonna grab a pan right here. I'm gonna add some butter to it, a good knob. Just remember, I'm still French after all. I'm gonna let that melt and bubble away. And we're gonna add our onion to the pan. We're gonna caramelize them for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna be adding some curry powder as well, just to bring extra flavors to our sandwich. So butter's starting to melt. I'm gonna add my onions. We don't want to get any color on these onions. We're going to sweat them off. So my first teacher, when I was 14 years old, told me one thing. When you cook, you have to hear the ingredients singing. And can you hear that? That is a beautiful song. So we want to make sure that it's cooking slowly, gently with all the butter. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be sweet. We're gonna take the like, bitterness of the onions by cooking it slow. And my little touch, I'm gonna add a bit of curry powder. It's gonna add those fragrance, you know, like life is beautiful. We need to add more layers. That's gonna create another layer. So we're gonna go with about a teaspoon. And it's gonna bring that beautiful gold color to our onions. Oof, only if you could smell. And we're gonna now let our onion gently sweat out for another five to 10 minutes. So we're about halfway on the cooking, so I'm going to season our onions with some black pepper and some salt. So the salt, not only it's seasoning, but also gonna help grabbing all the moisture out of the onion, so it's gonna be easier to cook. It's gonna be a little faster. Just gonna stir that in. We're gonna let that cook for another five minutes. Okay, so while the onions are cooking, we're about three to four minutes away. I'm going to chop some chives, which I'll be adding to the onions for some color. And if you watch some of our other videos, you will know by now that I love chives. So nice and thin. Always remember to create the claw with the finger so you never cut yourself and you can guide the blade. Okay, I'm gonna put that into a little bowl right here. Then we're gonna grab a radicchio. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. It's a lettuce, so it looks like a little red cabbage, but it is a lettuce, and what I like to use that for hot sandwiches. Have you seen the sandwiches that you have? It's hot, you have lettuce, and it's wilted. The good thing with the radicchio, it's gonna stay, stay in shape, it's gonna be nice and have a bite, a bit of crisp. It's gonna be very cool. Slice in half and a quarter. Then I'm gonna take the core part out, the center, just like that. And I'm just gonna simply just chop it up. Not too thin, but not too thick either. Just like so. And we'll place it into our bowl and that will be ready when we assemble the sandwich. I'm gonna give a stir on the onions. 
We're getting close, starting to caramelize. So we're just a couple minutes away. Okay, our onions are pretty much ready. I'm gonna turn it on low. I'm gonna start assembling the sandwich. So we're gonna take our beautiful bread. I'm gonna take two slices. It's a multigrain bread, right? Then we're gonna start with butter. So I'm gonna take a bit of butter, softened butter, and we're gonna spread it on. Not too much, because I'm gonna add more fat after. There we go. Then I'm gonna take some of the smoked ham that we have right there. I'm gonna put three slices. Just like so. Then from here, I'm gonna take my cheese. So we have three cheeses. We have some cheddar, mozzarella, and gouda. So these two are gonna give a lot of flavor and mozzarella is gonna help to create that like cheesy string that we love. I'm just gonna place it on the sandwich. You could do two slices, it's really up to you. I think one is fair. And from here, we're gonna just add our onions. So I'm gonna add the chives to the onions. And we're gonna stir it in. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna make sure I try the onions first before we put them on the sandwich. Mm. That is so good. The butter, like it's nice, nice and buttery. The sweetness from the onions, the curry really bring all these flavors together. Guys, we're in for a treat. So I'm just gonna take some of the onions. Look at that, wow. Place them in our sandwich. And you see, we caramelize them without color. So they have the sweetness without being a golden brown. You can also cheat and add a little bit of sugar if your onions are a little too sharp. If they're like a little bit older, add some sugar. There we go. Wow, I'm so excited. Then we're gonna add some radicchio. And look at those colors. And something I do personally, I like to season the bread. So I'm gonna add a bit of black pepper and a bit of salt on my bread. Then we're gonna close it, just like that. Then we're gonna get our pan on. So we're using non-stick for this. There we go. We're gonna take a bit of butter, let that melt gently. And then a little secret to get a beautiful golden brown crust, it's mayonnaise. So I'm actually going to spread some mayonnaise on the bread. Just like that. It's gonna help with moisture of the bread, as well as flavors. It's gonna give that beautiful crust. And we'll do the other side, because we're gonna put that side on the pan first. So I'm gonna melt my butter. And when my butter starts to foam, I'm gonna add the sandwich. Okay, the butter is starting to sing, so we're going to add a sandwich. We're gonna place it face down, like that. Just push it a little bit, so it's nice and flat. And we're gonna take our mayonnaise, just put it on the other side. So now I'm gonna cook that side for about two to three minutes. Then we're gonna reverse it, do it both sides, and we'll finish in the oven for three to four minutes just to get that cheese nice and gooey. Can't wait. Okay, now we're going to flip the sandwich. Wow. That is perfection. So we're gonna let it cook on the other side for another two minutes and we'll finish it in the oven. So I'm not gonna take this sandwich on the other side like the first one, because it's gonna keep cooking. So we're gonna say it's about like two minutes in, and I'm gonna finish in the oven for another two to three minutes. Okay, I think it's ready, so let's take it out of the oven. Oh yes. Oh. Can you hear that? Can you see that? 
can't wait. Guys. You hit that? That is what heaven sounds like. And now we're going to just cut it up. Oh my God. Look at this cheese. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it on the plate just like that. And here you have it. Delicious lunch, snack, whatever you want. Just eat it. Once again, how easy was that? I promise you it's worth all of it. So if you like this episode, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you allow me, see you soon. Mm.